How you doing? You guys. <laughs> I'm going to ask about working with Sylvester Stallone. Did he, I mean, did he let you call him Sly? That's my first question. You know what? I don't think you would dare call him Sly at your first meeting because you are an Abe. You're so, you're so, you're struck. He's, he's, he, you know what? He's probably the closest to a half God we have on this earth. So for me to meet this iconic Hollywood legend was um, one of the funniest, craziest, and most exciting experiences I've had working in America. Um, he's amazing. And of course, you can call him Sly because he's so much down to earth. He's a very, very generous and extremely sympathetic person. And and when you come from a small country as Denmark, you, you're told so many stories about Hollywood. The industry, how cold, how you gotta get, you gotta have elbows and you gotta fight your way up. You gotta fight your way up. You gotta punch up. Like that's something he would say. And but when you finally meet these A-level talents, they're generous, they're humble, they're sweet. They just want to put in the work. And I promise you one thing: there's few people in Hollywood who have worked harder. Than mm. Sylvester Stallone. He's yeah, um, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm very thankful that I I met him and I worked with him. He's got incredible. And, and he says the same about me, which yeah. which is so yeah. sweet of him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's got incredible work ethic. He's 76 years old. Can you see yourself working until that age? If the I can't even going. see myself working and working next week. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, the thing is, we had some fights. We were we you know uh, on camera, and. You don't want to, you're fighting with Rocky, you're fighting with Rambo, you're fighting with um, Tango and Cash, you're fighting with this iconic person, and you don't want to be the weak one in that company. So, you know, you, 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 you put in some weight and you, you, you know, you, 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 you give it all yourself and still, and I'm 40, mm. he's still stronger than me, <laughs> which says a lot about him. Him, I think, because I'm very strong. I hope. Because <laughs> I, so I've met some of you lovely Danes before. I've interviewed a fair few of you, and I've always found you guys to be so friendly and accessible. Hollywood slightly disagrees. What do you think it is that Hollywood sees as being villainous in you, lovely Danish people? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I, to be honest, I, I've actually asked myself that question, and I think the answer is one: we like we like to collaborate. Hmm like team effort we are all theater trained which means we know we are the water carriers at one point uh, the water boy as they say in america um uh we're team players we're, we're the water boys and probably the most important thing we have an accent and in america as long as you have an accent you will always be considered a villain um i tried on this one to do an american accent I got away with it, maybe 80, 95%. Um, and that was one of the challenges I gave myself when shooting Samaritan was, was that. And to kick Sly's ass. I failed in that one, but I won a little bit with the accent. And it's taken me like seven or eight years now working in America with, and I got a lot of fucking films coming out now, um, to do my first non, I've done a few others. The past two years i'm not going to mention it because then you can figure out and i do i move bah, bah, bah. but um my first real big big lead non-villain role now is invitation to a bonfire for amc which i'm flying over to america in two weeks and it just takes time man you you you, you work yourself from the bottom and you work yourself up and and now um now i'm not going to do a villain for many years but uh it's fun it's good to be bad yeah, it's going to be said about the accents. I think they got bored of the English accent. They've moved on from us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll go but, back um, to East European now. With yeah. that. <laughs> um, just very quickly before I go, because I love the look of your character. It's got this kind of iconic sort of like it look, the whole like the hair and the, the costume. Did you get to keep anything? And in fact, just from all of your roles across your career, do you ever take props or costumes or have you ever been inspired to continue on a look? That you I, had think, a I think if we swap out the keyword take mm. with steel, <laughs> I, I can say yes. I can 100% confirm it. 
I have stolen things from Game of Thrones, from Aquaman, from Salem Slot, from S Samaritan. I've been stealing with everything. I No, I'm kidding. I've been stealing a little thing like a ring or something. Actually, they give it to me because I always ask for it. Because I want to have a souvenir. A souvenir is a memory of a wonderful job you had with some wonderful colleagues. Um, so I've, I've taken quite a bit on Samaritan. The look was very, very defined by Julius and me. And we got so inspired by this techno biking guy who did a viral video some years ago where he was dancing in the streets. And we thought it was such a strong look. And I was like, I love Lost Boys. I love Kiefer Kief Sutherland in the eighties. And I think this is, it's got this old school vibe to it, this film. So I said two of one of my favorite villains in the eighties was Keeper Sutherland and Lost Boys. And one of my favorite villains of all time was um, uh, Gary Oldman in Lyon. Mm. And uh, those were the two people I got inspired by. And it's some big shoes to fill out. And I'm not comparing myself to them as actors because they're so incredible. But, you know, when you've done a few villains, you you got to give yourself some challenges. Mm, no, you hold your own. The hijacking is still one of the great performances I've seen over the last 10, 20 years. Anyway, I've gone over time, but thank you so All much. All right. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, Take man. care. You See you Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!